Let us move to the next question. That is negative five upon eight. We know that positive rational numbers will lie to the right of the point O, and the negative rational numbers will lie to the left of the point O. Here we have negative five upon eight, which is a negative rational number. So this will lie to the left of the point O. First, we will draw the number line indicating the integers on it. Zero is the central point on the number line, and we have positive integers on the right side. One, two, and the negative integers on to the left side of the point zero. One and negative. Two. Negative five upon a is a rational number of the form p upon q, where p is less than q. That is, we have five less than a. We have to compare the magnitudes of the numerator and denominator only. Then, in order to represent, in order to represent negative five upon eight on the number line, we have to divide the unit length between zero and minus one into eight equal parts, because the denominator we have is eight. Now. Let us divide it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight parts. Then take five out of the eight parts, starting from O. This is because The numerator we have is five, which indicates five out of eight parts. So let us represent the negative five upon eight on the number line. We have to take five out of the eight parts, starting from O. Here we have one, this is two, three, four, and five. So this is the required point. Let us represent this point by letter A, which indicates the rational number negative five upon eight on the number line. Therefore, A represents negative five upon eight on the number line.